Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous video, we saw the effect of a photon, that the effect that a photon has on an electron as it zips by the past the electron at the speed of light. The, the effect that we looked at in the previous video was the changes in the magnetic field inside the photon, realize, realizing that the magnetic field oscillations are left and right like this as the photon progresses in this direction, it's going to have an effect on the, on the electron, and the electron is going to feel a force either up or down caused by the sideways oscillation of the, of the magnetic field. In this video, we're going to see what the electric field oscillation effect will be on the electron. Notice that the electric fields will be oscillating up and down, while the magnetic fields are os oscillating left and right, and there's an electron that it will pass by at the speed of light. We also saw that for, we are assuming that the light that we're using here, the photons we're using are sunlight photons that have an E max of 1013 volts per meter and a B max of 3.38 times 10 to the minus 6 teslas. So that would be the maximum oscillation strength of the intensity strength of the electric field and magnetic field inside a photon of, of sunlight. And we noticed on the last video that the force caused by the magnetic field oscillations is 1.62 times 10 to the minus 16 newtons on that electron. And that would be the maximum force when we have the maximum amplitude of the magnetic field oscillations. So now let's go find out what the maximum force is on the electron caused by the electric field. So the force by the electric field can be written as F is equal to the charge times the strength of the electric field because by definition, the electric field a definition is equal to the force felt by a charge divided by the size of the charge. So if we then take the magnitude of this and solve for the force, we get Q times E. So this is therefore equal to the charge on the, of the electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, and multiply times the electric field, which is going to be equal to 1,013 volts per meter, which is the same as 1,013 newtons per coulomb, so 1,013 newtons per coulomb and we calculate that and of course that would be the force caused by the electric field and that would be at the maximum oscillation strength so let's find out what that is equal to so we have 1.6 e to the 19 minus times 1013 and we get 1.62 times 10 to the minus 16 newtons Notice that's the exact same number that we, that we calculated when we did it for the magnetic field oscillation. So we can see that the force caused by the electric field is also equal to 1.62 times 10 to the minus 16 newtons. Exactly the same. That means the force of the electric field oscillation, the force on the electron caused by the electric field oscillations, and the force on the electron caused by the magnetic field oscillations are exactly the same. But what about the direction? Well, let's find out. So here we already have the direction of the force caused by the magnetic field. So let me write down F sub B so that we know that it came from the magnetic field. So now let's find out the direction of the force by the oscillation of the electric field. Since the electric field oscillations are here are up and here are down, let's take this portion right here. If the electric field oscillation is downward, it can be assumed that the, there's an imaginary positive charge over here an imaginary negative charge over there. That's maybe a better way of looking at the electric field. So now let's place the electron in there and we're going to use the purple color to imagine electron. So there's the electron and notice that the electron is going to be attracted to the positive charge and repulsed by the negative charge even though we don't really have a charge there but it acts as if there's a charge which means the force felt by an electron is in the opposite direction of the direction of the electric field. Since the electric field is downward here, the electron is going to feel a force in the upward direction. Now, when we come up to over here, and so let me draw that, so the force will be in up, up directions as the force caused by the electric field, and notice that that force is in the same direction as the direction caused by the magnetic field oscillation. So they're not working in opposite direction, they're working in tandem. Both the electric field oscillation of the photon and the magnetic field oscillation cause a force in the same direction on the electron and the magnitude of the force will be exactly the same for both field oscillations. Coming over here, realizing that you can imagine that this would be a positive charge over here and a negative charge over there, so imaginary because now we place an electron in there and notice that the electron will be 
pulled towards the positive charge, repulsed by the negative charge, so the electron will feel a force in the opposite direction of the electric field. So in this case, the force will be downward, just like it was for the magnetic field. So you can see that while the photon is rushing past an electron or past any charged particle, the electron is going to feel an oscillating force up and down when the photon is moving in this direction with the field oscillating in the direction as if we've drawn on the board. And so both the electric field and the magnetic field will add half of the force that the charged particle will feel, in this case an electron, and it will be oscillating at the same frequency of the frequency of the photon. So now you can see how a photon affects an electron. As a photon rushes past an electron, as it's going by there, the electron is going to feel an oscillating force up and down according to the electric field oscillation, the magnetic field oscillation, at the exact same frequency of the frequency of the oscillation of the photon itself. And that's how energy is imparted from a photon to an electron. Now it could be that all of the energy is imparted and so the photon disappears and the electron absorbs the entire amount of the energy or if the electron is, is um, or let's say that the electron is stuck inside an antenna and that photon comes by, it will cause the electron and the antenna to oscillate back and forth at the exact same frequency of the photon. So there's a very interesting relationship between how the photons affect charged particles because of the oscillations of the electric field and the magnetic field inside the photon. An amazing way in which energy is imparted on charged particles when photons rush by them. And that's how we know a little bit more about what a photon is.